Hi guys and thank you for joining me and welcome to another Fisherman's Tales. Now some time back a friend of mine Martin Larkin and I had a conversation as I wanted to go out and try and catch a good stamp of gilt head. I caught quite a few in this country, quite a few abroad but never of that size that gives you that buzz and Martin is quite renowned for his spots and tactics and just getting those big fish. So the day was arranged and off I went down to Plymouth, met up with Martin and we went off to the mark. Um, I have to say when we arrived at the mark finally it was absolutely stunning. I mean it screamed the gilt heads. We, we just were quite excited about it all. Anyway, hour or so in Martin caught himself a little pound and a half, two pound bass, which was promising. It, you know, if the bass were there, hope, surely the gilt heads would follow. Uh, a little bit later, he had another nice bass, four pound twelve. Good God, look at that. He hit it enough scrap, didn't he? I thought. Gold bar and a dark bar. No. Silver bar. Wrong oh, one. Good look at that. Come on, boy. He'll flick in a minute and he'll go. There he goes. Come on. Come on. <laughs> He's just going to rest up for a while. Yeah. Cool, <clears throat> He's stopping on a bit of bread. <laughs> there he goes. He's Look, going he goes oh, he says, that feels nice. Tickling my... Look, he moved the bread for his <laughs> tail. Yeah, he's just gone in there for a rest. He'd be fine. That's all you do. And uh, that was about all the activity, apart from a little squid, which intrigued us, that came in to the um, shallows and we fed it a bit of bread, named him Sid, done a little video of him, which you'll see now. Do his eyes look? He looks evil. Just when he looks angry, I'm going to have to put him back. He probably is angry. So, here you go. You've now met Sid the Squid, who amused us for quite a while, so you can imagine the fishing was, was quite slow. Uh, Come four o'clock, I was absolutely, completely, and utterly shattered. I mean, I'd had a six-hour drive. It was a long day, and I decided to get my head down on the rocks for an hour or two. I literally just lay down and used my rucksack as a pillow and went to sleep for an hour. Woke up the next morning and went round the headland to find Martin still fishing, but feeding the mullet. Quite intrigued by the mullet. They were a good size and lots of activity in the water. So I kind of guessed what was going to happen, but I was hell-bent on my target, which was a gilt head. And I was not, under any circumstances, going to change what I was doing. But Martin decided, although he got the wrong gear, um, they look like fun, and he does love his mullet. So he swapped over, threw out a bit of bread, had a few takes, and then finally this happens. <laughs> They're taking the mick. Here we are, gilt fish fishing, and it's not enough for Mr. Larkin. He's getting bored, no bites, so he decides to go on the mullet. A couple of casts, and here we go into a really, really, really nice fish. He says, you are joking, I'm not ready yet. <laughs> he has. Come on, Mr. Mullet. <laughs> I 
He's not going to give up easily. Yeah, I know. He's not daft, is he? He's not uh, going to give up easily. Yes. <laughs> now, can I just say something, Martin? Oh, look at that. Look at the size can of I just say something? Sir. That isn't a guilt head. What? That isn't a guilt head. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, just look at that fish. Now, that is a beautiful mullet. I'll give Martin a chance to get him sorted and we'll get him on the scales because he is a cracking fish. Little tiny size eight hook. And to be fair to Martin, he was actually using his gilt gear and it really wasn't right enough for the mullet and he was complaining that probably he wasn't going to do anything. But here we go. Not only did he get one, but he got a beautiful one. Oh yeah, he's going to go straight away, look. Yeah. And there you go. Five pounds, four ounces. Beautiful fish. It didn't take him long to get it on uh, heavy gear, to be fair to him. <sighs> right, let's get him. You go here. back, fella. That's the light grey one I said I saw, wasn't it? Yeah. I said he was a nice fish, didn't I? Come on. Oh, face him that way because the current's running that way. Get some oxygen in his gills. He's just turned in because the current's running that way around. He'll be fine, honestly. Help him recover a little bit. He's got the strength on that fish. He probably won't take long to recover and go back. I'm buzzing about that. It's beautiful. Opportunity knocks. Guilt head gear. <laughs> Yeah, it's not the target species. Are you disappointed? No. Nope. <laughs> it's a bonus, isn't it? <laughs> I had to go for them, didn't I? Yeah, they were teasing you. There's they're another still, one out they're there. They're still here now. now. I think you should have a go in a minute. 
Come on, Mr. Mullet. Oh, you can't. What? No, it's all right. He looks, you know. he looks. What are you after? Oh, it looks lovely. Up. It's laid there in the water because he's got that light, nice yeah. bluey grey colour to him. There he goes. Come on. Go and meet your mates. Tell them locks about. Don't <laughs> take any bread. <laughs> It's yep. fine. There he goes. Yeah. You got him. Yeah. And he's gone. He is going. Now. That was a turn up. So as you can see, guys, um, we had a bit of fun with the mullet. It was good uh, watching him. But unfortunately, the title of this uh, video was going to be going for gold, um, and we both failed miserably. The gilts just didn't want to play. They didn't show up. But hey, that's fishing. You know, you can have everything right, your conditions, your baits, the wind, the moon phases, absolutely everything. But it does not guarantee you the fish. That's fishing. So I hope you enjoyed that, enjoyed that short video. Um, I certainly enjoyed making it and watching Martin catch these, uh, these powerful fish. So hopefully next time I'll be able to bring you a video of this hard-fighting gilt head that I'm desperate to catch. Um, you seem to fall into the match fishing and more, more, more is better quantity rather than quality and I really want this quality fish. So that's all for today guys, thanks for watching. Um, I will be back, I will be going back out to see if I can get that specimen. Um, well, a specimen for me. Um, I'm hell bent on catching it and I won't give up that easily. So until then guys, catch you later. Bye.